Hello and welcome. My name is Kamal Chitpal and I'm a registered dietitian with Alberta Healthy Living Program. This video is part of the AHS video series, Helping You Feel Better After COVID-19. In this video, we will discuss strategies to help meet your nutritional needs while lowering your risk of choking and lung infection. This video is for people who have been deemed safe for oral intake. It is important that you discuss your swallowing concerns with your healthcare providers and follow their individualized recommendations. Weight and muscle loss is regularly seen in people after a COVID-19 infection. Physical inactivity due to symptoms of long COVID can make building and retaining lean muscle mass challenging. Muscle loss has even been shown to affect our swallowing ability. Swallowing difficulties can make our eating experiences longer. It is important to take your time and focus on chewing and swallowing when eating or drinking. Focus on taking small bites and chewing well. Eating small amounts more often will help lower fatigue with chewing and it helps to make sure you are meeting your energy, protein, fluid, and other nutrient needs. Eat or drink small amount every two to three hours. Include high protein foods with each meal or snack can help maintain or build your strength. Healthy snacks or meals will look different based on the texture you can tolerate. Some ideas are adding nut butter, Greek yogurt, milk, soya milk, and or soft tofu to a smoothie drink. Enjoying an egg, meat, poultry, or fish salad sandwiches. Adding pureed beans, pureed lentils, or protein powders to pureed soups. If swallowing difficulties worsens and are impacting you physically or emotionally, please talk to your physician. They may be able to refer you to a swallowing team for assessment. This assessment will determine if a change in texture or fluid consistency would enhance your safety and quality of life. It is important to consume food and fluids in the recommended texture. Texture of food can change to help with swallowing from soft, minced, or pureed. Fluids can be thickened to help with swallowing from nectar, honey, or pudding-like consistency. We eat and drink every day, and so we may not notice the skills or actions that are required to chew, swallow, and breathe all at the same time. As you can see here, the lady eating the pasta is being mindful of eating and swallowing as well as her breathing. A couple helpful tips are turn off electronics to avoid any distractions. Limit talking while eating and drinking. The natural bacteria in our mouths may increase the risk of pneumonia should you breathe in food, fluids, or saliva. Regular mouth care is brushing your teeth, tongue, gums, and cheeks at least twice a day, even if you wear dentures. Gravity helps with swallowing. Sitting up is the easiest position to allow the muscles and nerves to work properly. Sit upright at a 90 degree angle when chewing or swallowing food or liquids unless a healthcare provider has given you a different position for swallowing. Sit upright even if eating in bed or on the couch. Remain sitting upright for at least 30 minutes following completion of the meal or snack. Please find more information on difficulties with swallowing on ahs.ca website. Search nutrition education resources to see nutrition handouts. Click on dysphagia, difficulty swallowing, gray bar, then click on a handout that interests you, such as tips to eat and swallow safely. You can also contact your local health region for more information and resources available to you. We hope this video helps you to better manage your health. Thank you.